Okay, welcome back to our second video in the series for Encore Time Master. There are basically two types of expenses you can have, one for odometer for tracking mileage and then a generic expense. So let's go ahead and add some. I'm going to tap on the plus button. We're going to reuse our CBS client and project that we just created for the last video and we're going to select our TV Guide app. Now expenditures are optional and basically the way it should work is if you have something that you're using over and over again you should set up an expenditure. Otherwise if it's a one-shot thing just enter the amount and the quantity and you'll get your total for that. In this case we're going to do the odometer and we're going to select a mileage one. We set it for our van and you can see that it has a rate of 30 cents a mile, the reimbursement for, rate for that and it picked up the beginning odometer from the last time entry we uh, odometer entry we did and what we're going to do now is we'll say that we traveled 110 miles and you can see that it puts in 110 as a quantity and it does 33 we also could have tapped here if we knew that we did something like 120 miles we will automatically update the odometer for that in expenses there are attributes which are reimbursable, receipt, and taxable and you can tap on one of those and if you export the attributes column in either your HTML email or your CSV exports on our free Time Master Central app for the Mac and PC these words will actually show up in that column. The last thing is purpose if we want to put down a description of what we did and we'll say it was uh, travel Two clients and done. Okay, and we're going to save that. We're also going to add another expense. We'll say that we had an expenditure type that we burnt them a, a CD. So we'll enter that in there, and you can see that it pulls up the amount of twenty-five dollars per CD. We burnt them two copies, and we're going to put down that and we'll turn this keyboard sideways just as I mentioned that you can do that we'll say that we uh, burned a CD with client graphics and we'll finish there and so that's our two expenditures there. Oops, we forgot to pick our uh, project and client. We'll go back here, quick pick our TV Guide app for our client, fills that in, and we'll save that. So now we have our two expenses. Filters work the same way as the time entries. We have our dates, so we can pick stuff that we did for this month. We just want to see stuff for this month. Or we can also filter in this case by client, project, or expenditure type. Say that we just wanted to see all the mileage we did. So we have our mileage there. Uh, last couple things I want to show here is if you have multiple vehicles you may want to um, add in a different mileage for a different vehicle and track that. So say that we did a trip for Acme Inc and we have an expenditure and in this one we use the Porsche 911 as you can see that has a different odometer reading on there so we want 133 miles on there and uh, that's our uh, expense for that this like the expenses you can resort by tapping on the columns and that pretty much wraps up expenses.